If I asked you for the coldest place people actually live in the US, you'd probably think of Minnesota, maybe North Dakota, maybe the Rockies. But if we drag the map all the way to the top edge of America, past the forests, past Fairbanks, we land in a tiny Arctic city on the shore of the frozen ocean. This is Utqiagvik, Alaska, the northernmost town in the United States. Around four to 5,000 people live here in a tundra climate where temperatures usually stay below freezing from early October through late May, and the sun disappears for roughly two months each winter in a stretch of polar night. During that time, daylight is just a blue twilight glow over endless snow and sea ice. Now slide the map back down into the lower 48 to International Falls, Minnesota. This town proudly calls itself the icebox of the nation, averaging about 109 days a year when the high temperature never even reaches 32 degrees Fahrenheit, with a record low of negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Here, winter is a personality trait. Ice fishing, outdoor hockey, and festivals that celebrate just how cold it gets. Head southwest into the Rocky Mountains and you hit Fraser, Colorado. At over 8,500 feet, Fraser has an annual mean temperature around 38 degrees Fahrenheit and roughly 287 nights each year that dip below freezing. Locals joke that you can get frost any day of the calendar. It's one of the coldest incorporated towns in the contiguous US, and it even fought International Falls over the icebox of the nation title. So the next time you're complaining about a chilly morning, remember, in Utgeyagvik, the sun vanishes for weeks. In International Falls, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is bragging rights. And in Fraser, scraping ice off your windshield in June is just part of the commute. Follow for more tiny map stories about the wild extremes of everyday places.